Hello, welcome to your y equals mx plus b video. This one is going to be talking about how to take a table of information and turn it into the equation. Um, and you will be able to write the equation in y equals mx b form using a table. So how do I write an equation from a table? There are three different examples here. We're going to start with this first one. Um, if you remember, we are talking about y equals mx plus b. Um, and there's some very important traits here. The m spot, that is your slope. And slope is y over x. Your change in y over your change in x. b is your y-intercept. In other words, when x is 0, what is y? Um, so this is your x, this is your y. Um, so using those reminders, we are going to write equations using the table. So I'm just going to kind of make this fit here so we can keep an eye on that. Make sure you get that down in your notes. That's helpful. Um, so here is our first problem. Now, we are going to use y equals blank x plus blank. Nothing's going to change there. First thing we need to do is find the slope. Slope is change in y over change in x. So if I look here, as I'm going from y to y, I notice that I'm adding 2 every time. Th to 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. It works every time. Um, so my change in y is 2 over my change in x. My change in x every time is consistently 1. So it's going to be 2 over 1. That's my slope. Um, and you could write it 2 over 1. It's also just written as 2. Um, and then plus, your b is your y-intercept. That's when x is 0. So I'm going to erase this stuff so we can kind of see what we're doing again. Um, and x is 0 right here. So I look to my y, my y is 1, which means b is going to be 1. My coordinate here was 0, 1, and that tells us it's going to be y equals 2x plus 1 for an answer to that um, table. Here's another problem. Um, this one's a real world, more of a real world type problem. We're talking about tax and total tax. Um, something your parents will think about and you'll think about when you're older. Um, but we can still use this to help us um, come up with the answers. So here um, we are going to still use y equals m oops, x plus b. Um, find the slope first. Slope is change in y over change in x. So my this is my x, this is my y. Um, and as I look, my y is increasing by 300 each time as I go. And that continues every time. So change in y is 300. Change in x as I'm going each time, it's changing by 1,000. Um, so it's going to be over 1,000. Change in x. Um, I can simplify this a little bit. Um, and I will end up with 3 over 10. Uh, as my slope. So I'm going to write y equals 3 tenths here. Um, then you want to find when x is 0. So you go look at your table. x is 0 right here. So here's your coordinate that you're going to use. Um, and in this case it's 0, 0. So you could say plus 0. You could also just say y equals 3 tenths x. Either way, um, there's your answer. Last example for you, this one, um, you might notice right away that there's no zero, but we'll um, address that in just a second, which is what makes this table unique. Um, you're still going to use y equals mx plus b, so finding the m and the b. Um, first thing, change in y over change in x. Change in y as I go each time, I'm adding 6. So that's my change in y. 6 over my change in x is increasing by 1 every time. So it's going to be 6 over 1, which is in fact just 6. Um, if for some reason we were decreasing by 6, um, then it would be negative 6. So just keep that in mind. If it's decreasing, it's going to be negative um, these examples just all happen to be positive. Um, then B. 
is when x is 0. If you look at your table, there is no 0. Um, so you just kind of have to imagine there was a 0. So we're going to bump this up a little bit, x and y. Um, so here's x is 0. If I continue this pattern, you kind of have to think backwards. Um, so if I would subtract 1, that would bring me to 0, which is what I want. Um, and then I would have to work backwards here too. So instead of adding 6, I would subtract 6. Um, which 7 minus 6 is 1, um, so my coordinate here is 0, 1, which means the b term is going to be plus 1. So y equals 6x plus 1 would be the equation for this table. Here is your turn. You are going to write two equations um, in y equals mx plus b form. Uh, number 1 and number 2. Um, also, I'm going to have you fill out a Google form on this one, um, so you're going to enter your answers, um, write the equation, um, and don't include any spaces at all, just smush it all next to each other, um, and then I can see where you're at before you even come to class. So um, please enter your answers on that Google form, don't forget, because it is worth points. That is the end of that. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget that Google form. I'll see you later.